15th, it is a 2.30 dismissal. I am your host, Tyler Lott, and this is my co-host, Travion Geish. Today is an odd day. What's on the menu today? Barbecue rib on a bun or manager's choice. At breakfast, at breakfast, you must put all your things down before going through the line. This means your Chromebook bags, purses, and coats. Please clean them up for yourself after breakfast and lunch. Treat yourself, others in the building with respect. Absolutely no food can leave the lunchroom. None. This means no open bags of chips, no closed bags of chips, no drinks. If an adult sees you with the food, you will be told to throw it away. Also, remember, no food is allowed in classroom students. This is an expectation of all classrooms. When an adult asks you to give them the food or put it away, you are expected to follow the request the first time the direction is given. Dress code is still in effect. Jackets and coats are still not allowed in classrooms. Be sure to take your hoods down when entering the building. Finally, purses are not allowed in class. You need to put them away into lockers. AP teachers, please pause now and make sure these expectations are being followed. Thank you, host. Track has practice Monday, two, Monday and Tuesday from 2.45 to 4 next week and 1.45 to 4 on Wednesday. Attention, everyone. Interested in becoming a Springfield High School cheerleader for the next 2024-2025 through 2025 school year. There will be a mandatory informational meetings on Wednesday, April 24th at 5 p.m. in the Springfield High School Commons. Interested? Candidates should atten attend with a parent or guardian. Please contact Coach Walls with questions. Now back to our host. Thank you. Scholastic Bowl has a tournament this Saturday at Pleasant Plains. Good luck. Wowzers, the art and music last night at Grant was incredible. Miss Harrison, you have fostered such talented artists. Mr. D, you must be pr so proud of your band inquire members way way to go grant generals now back to the host introducing miss yost hey all right so i am here to talk a little bit about next fall I know we're not even to summer yet, but we're talking about next fall um, and eligibility. So um, it's confusing in middle school, and it will be the same for high school as well. Um, this semester right now, so from Christmas until the end of the school year, these grades are the ones that will determine if you are able to try out for fall activities. So fall activities include cheerleading, they include softball, they include baseball, they include um, girls basketball, boys basketball, okay? Girls basketball, depending on the dates, because they change those, that might be a winter sport, um, but cross country is another one. So any of those sports that I just mentioned, if you are planning to try out for any of those, even to come to practice to try out, you cannot have any Fs on your semester report card at the end of the school year for this second semester. So you don't start over every single school year. Um, you don't start fresh, unfortunately. That is part of the eligibility process. So... Um, Please talk with your advisory teachers about how to figure that semester grade. That's something that you should be going over, and you can practice by figuring out your average or your se um, semester grade for first quarter as well, or first semester. Um, but, for example, if you have an F third quarter and a, a D fourth quarter in math, let's say, Okay, most likely that's going to average out to be an F for the semester. And anything in that semester column, if you have a failing grade or less than a 2.0, you will not even be able to try out for a fall activity. So please keep that in mind. If you have any questions regarding that, please come see me in my office. Um, eighth graders, you kind of luck out and you start fresh going into freshman year. So you get a clean slate. However, your first semester at high school, so from August until December, um, that will determine what you get to do in 
the spring or in the winter time. So um, current sixth and seventh grade students, if you're planning to try out for anything, please make sure that those grades are up to par and where they need to be so that you're not disappointed come the fall. Thanks. Thursdays after school from 2.30 to 4. Please note, if you are sent outside by a substitute, it will automatically be two after school detentions. This does not include permanent substitute teachers. If you are removed from lunch detention, it will result in an automatic after school detention. Wait, the Purple Positive store will be open every Friday during all three lunch shifts. Remember, Learning Lab is offered 245 through 4, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. From the link outside of one of your teacher's Canvas pages, be sure to fill out the form before the last lunch is meet and all professors if you do stay. Remember to be respectful of others and property to and from school. These expectations at Grant is to keep your head, hands and feet to yourself at all times during the school. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's joke comes from Malachi Sissy. Why did the turn signal miss the turn? Why? It blinked. Do we have any birthdays? Yes, Mania B and China Murphy in the sixth and Israel Roby in the seventh. Happy birthday!